Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today. Um, as always, let's begin this off. Begin this off, yes, with a fun joke. Here we go. What subject in school do cattle like the most? Calculus. <laughs> A bitch, that's funny. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks again so much for being here today. Today's video is going to be my March TBR. <laughs> and as I say in every TBR, it is an ambitious bitch, okay? Um, I have <laughs> quite the stack right next to me. Um, some of them are for school. Wow, I didn't even grab the one for school. So just give me a moment. I'm gonna go grab that now. <laughs> All right, I got the book, and I guess that means I can start this TBR. Again, it's ambitious. I don't know if I'm gonna get to all of these, but uh, damn well am I gonna try, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. All right, great, let's begin here with a book that I'm currently reading for school, which is Roxana by Daniel Defoe. I am over halfway done with this one. So far, really enjoying this one. It's pretty fun for an 18th century novel. The main character describes herself as a whore. So, I mean, it's been <laughs> quite a delight of fun. And um, that's the first one. <laughs> All right, next up, we have another one for school and that is Charles Dickens' Great Expectations. I've never read this book. This was in my 10 classics I wanna read in 2020 that I did not read. <laughs> so um, this is an assignment for school, as I just said, and we have to read the whole thing by next week, I believe. Maybe not the whole thing, maybe half of it and then half another week. But I know that we need to read this in March and I'm not excited because I hated Bleak House. But you know what? <laughs> the cover's good. So maybe this one's gonna be fun. I'm not sure. I'll update you once I've read it. There we have it. All right, next we have a book for my book club, the Late Night Book Club. And by the way, cause I get asked this every time I talk about my book club, the book club is not like a weird sign up thing. It's literally just that we announce the books over on Instagram and then we announce the live shows on Instagram and then we go live and that's how you join the book club. So you just read along with us and then you tune into the live show and you don't even really need to do that in order to join. You just, <laughs> you just say you're part of it and you're part of it. So uh, March's book is The Power. And this one, again, I talked about this in my last book haul, but this book has gotten so many mixed reviews. We really just wanted to read a sci-fi and we were like, ooh, this one looks fun. Um, and we've been getting some <laughs> um, mixed comments on it. Some people have thought it was really good and then a lot of people really hated it. So um, it's gonna be an interesting discussion at the end of March. So there we have it. All right, the next two books are recommendations off of Chandler's channel. She's talked about both of these books um, before, but specifically in her latest video, which was a like, if you liked this romance, you might like this romance. And she talked about both of these books and thank God I already owned them because she sold me on them. The first one is Tools of Engagement. Um, I believe this is the third in a series, but you don't need to read the first two. Like it helps you get more context, but this is about a separate couple. And um, you know, Chandler says it was like easily a five out of five romance for her and that it was super steamy. And that is all I need to know. If Chandler says it's an excellent romance, then I'm giving it a fucking read. Um, so I'm excited for this one. And I just know it's about an older lady and a younger man and then they canoodle. So that's one. And then another one she talked about was The X Talk. This was also in my latest book haul, but I guess I didn't know what it was about because I got the plot totally wrong. I thought it was actually literal exes that went on like a radio show to talk through their problems, but instead it's a couple that's faking to be exes and then giving relationship advice. So they're not really exes. They're just like people that wanted to host a radio show, but they're pretending that they are in order to talk about it. And that sounded even more fun. And she compared this book to Beach read uh, because of the main ladies in the book and it just sounded super good when she was describing it. So I am even more excited for it than I was before. All thanks to Chandler. I was gonna call her Chandy. <laughs> That's like a little nickname. <laughs> 
And I don't know if she'd love that. So anyway, speaking of romances, and I did hint at this in my March or in my February wrap up video that I posted on Monday, but I do plan to read Act Your Age, Eve Brown immediately. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this one. I started reading it. I got through chapter one and was loving it, but then got really busy last weekend. So I just put it down and I won't lie. I've been thinking about it ever since because the first chapter is just so strong. It's already so like silly and cute. And um, I just, I can't wait to see what happens. And I have heard that it is, pretty steamy in certain moments. So <laughs> I am very, very, very excited. So, and this is coming out this month in March. Does it already, did it come out? Um, the, the spine says March 21st, but then I also heard like March 5th or 6th. So um, whenever it comes out, pick it up because the first two books were excellent and I'm so excited for this one. All right, next up we have <laughs> one that I started over a month ago and I got to page 29 and then put it down and I have been talking about reading this one since, I don't know, like last February or something. And that is George o Orwell's 1984. I have wanted to read this for a very long time and I started it in February. And then I just stopped. Actually, no, I think I actually started it in January. And then I just stopped. Um, I think because like classes had picked up and I was like, this feels a little bit more like academic reading and I already have academic reading. So I'm gonna put this off. Um, but I started it and I haven't taken it off my Goodreads currently reading because I intend to finish it in March. Um, I also intended to finish it in January and February, but mark my words, I am saying it in this video, so it shall be doneth. But um, I didn't know that the like, the idea of Big Brother came from this book. <laughs> so when all of a sudden I'm reading about Big Brother, I was like, oh, I get it. <laughs> I thought it was that MTV show or VH1 show. I don't know which one it was. Um, didn't realize it came from 1984, unless it didn't. And I sound like an absolute fool right now. It could be the case. I would say I'm excited for this one, but I keep putting it off. So how excited is she? I don't know. Okay, great. Okay, next up, I have one of the March book of the month picks, and that is What's Mine and Yours. I have heard some really fantastic things about this book so far. And so I am so, so, so excited to give it a read. And also this cover, I don't know if maybe the covers in this video have been like over exposed so you can't really see them but just trust me on it it is a good cover my friends i love it the stacking of faces and different colors oh my god excellent so very very excited to read this one and i plan to do just that in the month of march <laughs> Next up, next up, um, we have Kristen Hanna's The Four Winds. I talked about this book in my books that made me cry video. And I talked about two of other Kristen Hanna's books and how they made me sob. And so I am expecting to sob to this one, not only because it's Kristen Hanna, but also because <laughs> um, I have seen so many people talk about how hard they cry to this book. And I don't even really know what it's about. I think it's the Great Depression era. I don't know. I might just be pulling that out of my head. I don't know. Okay, uh, the Great Plains, 1934. So after the Great Depression, I don't know. You know what? <laughs> In any case, I wanna cry. So I will be giving this big bitch a read in March. Another book I will be reading this month that I started in February and then, you know, story of my life, I just didn't finish it, is uh, Stephen King's The Green Mile. This was in my like Stephen King TBR for 2021. And me and Kat from Paperback Dreams are reading this together. Just pause the video for a second and freak out with me. I can't believe she wanted a buddy read with me. I'm like freaking out. Um, <laughs> so, so far it's pretty creepy, I guess. I don't know if this is, is it a horror? Or is it more like a crime criminal? detective. 
I don't know. I don't know. So far, it's more like there's been a crime that's been committed and you're trying to figure out what really happened. And like you're told what happened. But I'm just going to assume that if the crime was spelled out for me on page 30, that's probably not what really happened, right? Because then what's the point of the book? All right. And then the last book. Now, I have two books as an option, but I'm going to hold both of them up because I'm still deciding is either I'm going to read Go Tell It on the Mountain by James Baldwin or Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. I don't know which one to do. I have heard fantastic things about both. And whenever I ask which one I should read, people vote for each one. <laughs> so I'm just gonna choose one. I've been really, really intrigued by Giovanni's Room and I hear it will make me cry. So I think we know what the winner is. But I've also heard fantastic things about Go Tell It on the Mountain. I don't know. I guess you'll find out in my March wrap up. <laughs> Okay, so there we have it, my friends. Those are all the videos. What? Those are all the books that I plan to read in March. And when I say plan to read, I mean it's wishful thinking at this point that I'll read all of those in March um, because <laughs> school is stressing me out, my friends. I just, uh, I'm overwhelmed, to be honest. There's a lot going on with school and work and all of the things, but I would love to read at least a portion of these little novels. I know that I at least have to read two of them for school and one of them for a book club. So I will, I assure you, I will read three of these, but if I could at least bat like 75% on these, that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. All right. Anyway, that's it, my friends. Let me know what you all plan to read in the month of March. What are you most excited for? Maybe what are you reading for school? We can kind of commiserate together over school reading. Because even if I'm enjoying Roxana by Defoe, I still don't want to read it, even though I'm having fun with it. Um, so let me know what you want to read in March. And I hope this video was fun. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!